Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Sprocket, the game where you can completely design your own custom tank. And today, I want to try to make the fastest firing tank I can manage to make. One of the big factors in this game when it comes to building your tank and designing your turret is uh, in your cannon is the base reload time. If you want a really, really powerful gun, the shells are going to be heavy. They're going to be big. It can take a lot of time, even over an entire minute, to reload a single shell if you really start pushing the values to the extremes, which I did in my last Sprocket video. But I never really experimented with how fast can you make a cannon that fires. Now, this is a different question than how effective is the gun. <laughs> I'm not worried about that for this. I don't care how effective it's going to be. I just want to... I just care about how many... how many pings can we get on an enemy <laughs> before they kill us? Or maybe we'll even kill them, who knows? So let's start this design with the turret since that is the important thing here. And I don't know if um, the shape of the mantlet here, I don't know if this has any impact on our ability to reload. So let's go with just like the, a cool looking one. One that might, I feel like I wanna go with this one. This one actually does look pretty cool. So let's put that there. Okay, now let's go to the cannon here. And it looks like, ooh, it looks like the length of the cannon doesn't affect the base reload time. The thickness of these don't really seem to affect the reload time. So that's good. Let's have the muzzle brake be a similar shape to the actual mantlet there. I kind of feel like I want to make the mantlet smaller. It seems a little bit excessive, doesn't it? There we go. I made it a little bit smaller. Okay, so right now our base reload time is 4.98 seconds. So it looks like basically if I want to get it, is this the really the, sl the fastest I can possibly reload is 1.53 seconds? That feels like it's still kind of slow. Is any of this other stuff affecting it though? I can't really, I can't really see anything else affecting it that much, but man, <laughs> with this tiny caliber, look at how it, it's like a needle. I pretty much have a needle coming out of this thing. Okay, so now this makes about zero sense when it comes to the caliber uh, with the size of this thing. But at a 1.53 second base reload time, I think that's as fast as we're going to get this thing to reload. How much damage are we? 17 damage? Oh no. All right, just to contrast here, if we just had a little bit more like a... Yeah, this thing... We should be doing thousands of damage, I think. I think we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be going up against tanks that are doing thousands of damage, and we're gonna be doing seventeen. Okay, so now the second part of the reload time is the crew. Right now, their efficiency is at seventy-five percent. So this turret guy, uh, we want the turret gunner to be. Oh, that we want the turret loader to be at hundred percent. You know, let's just have the turret gunner, the turret loader be at. You know, let's just have everybody. They all deserve to be at 100% efficiency, right? I do know that if the crew is at a, is at less than 100% efficiency, that our uh, reload time will increase. I don't know if there is anything that'll allow us to go lower than our base reload time. But now, let's actually get to designing the tank itself. Um, since we are not going to be doing a lot of damage, uh, I'm going to go ahead and max out... Oh, this is not working. I want to max out our armor completely. Uh, so I'm just gonna try to max out as much of this as I can. If we run out of space, which it looks like we're going to at the top here, our internal space is looking a little sparse for our crew. Uh, what I'm gonna do is, oh wait, I don't even know what my weight limit is for this. But I'm not gonna worry about that too much right now. I'm just gonna keep maxing out the armor for now. I think maybe 120. I think I did this campaign before. Okay, so we're still under 120, but we are severely low on internal space. So now we need to modify the shape of the hull. Don't worry, we'll be fine tuning this as we go. Okay, what happens if I try to spawn in right now? Okay, there we go. Must be under 120 tons for this mission. That's fine. All right, I was able to save a ton of space just by getting rid of the belly armor because this, this is where the belly armor is and I don't think we're going to have too much of an issue of getting shot from underneath. All right, so now let's actually start designing the shape of this thing, which is, of course, going to change all of the uh, adjustments that we just made. And uh, we're going to, you know, we're, we're going to have it be a healthy wedge shape. It's not going to be like pure wedge like we did in the first video, but we're definitely going to embrace the deflective properties 
of the angles. All right, I think I got the hull shape down. It is just narrowly having enough internal space, which may be affected by the, the adjustments I will now make to the turret. And yeah, I know sandbox, we can just do whatever we want as far as limitations and stuff goes, but I really like having the scenarios that give us battles to win. It makes it more interesting when we finish a tank design. And plus, placing limitations, it's a good way to test creativity as well. Okay, now for the turrets. I just want the turret to look relatively cool and also kind of make sense. And it looks like it's not really going to let me go lower than the height of this turret right now. All right, that looks pretty cool. And I do want that to have a little bit more of an angle. Why is this not centered? Why is the gun? The gun is not centered anymore. Oh no, it won't let me place the gun. Okay, well, it'll let me do this gun mount. All right, so we're switching to a new gun mount. Actually, that looks pretty cool. I kind of, I approve of that. All right, so I think I got my turret design and my hull design. Now I'm going on the track design. There's not a whole lot that really matters as much here. I'm just gonna try to make it fit, look like it fits or something. I don't know. Uh, now it's just aesthetic stuff. We can just add some random stuff to it. Like a crew hatch on top, some antennas. I really don't, I, I, that's an interesting shape for an antenna. Storage chests on this side. We're gonna have one of these things nice and centered. Look at those, look at those headlights. We should probably have lights on top of our turret, huh? So that way we can see where we're looking. All right, now we just got some random utilities and stuff that we can add to the sides and the back, you know, some tools. Some cables, you know, ca cables and stuff are important in case you need cables. Sometimes you need some of these round things, you know, uh, for, for roundness. Sometimes it's nice to have like a log. Is that metal or wood? I think that, is that, is that a wooden log? Oh yeah, that's a wood log. Yeah, sometimes you need wooden logs for, uh, lumber. All right, and I messed with the paint settings and I think I found a decently good color here, like my own color. All right, uh, I hope this thing can even drive. Uh, let's spawn it in and see. Oh, wow. Yep. This is, this is really fast. This is pretty fast. Do I have any other tanks? I think it's just me, isn't it? It's just me. I don't, oh, I didn't even think about how fast can this turret turn? I can aim up and down. Uh, oh boy, it does not turn very fast. But you know, that's fine. At least I can aim up and down. Who's shooting at me? There's a lot of people shooting at me. All right, am I, do I even have, oh, I hit him. I hit him again. I could just keep, uh oh, we're getting hit. Well, we have a lot of armor. You know what, we, we need to close. Wait, why can't, I can't. Oh no, I can't go anymore. I don't have enough power. Oh, they shot one of my tracks. That's why I can't go anymore. Okay, let's restart. Okay, so I gave him, I've given myself a lot more torque. So we should be able to turn our turret faster. All right, so let's get back on the battlefield. Let's see how this feels now. Yeah, that's faster. All right, let's get out here. And uh, I think we have like 10 other tanks to take out, you know, do dealing 17 damage per shot. Shouldn't be a problem. Who is shooting at me already? I saw a bullet whiz by the camera. We have some decent speed as well. Oh boy, I just see, I really wish I just had like, I, I just want, you know, I just let, let's just do a 1v1 here. <laughs> I don't know why I went for one of these big campaigns actually. Oh, really? One shot and I'm already disabled with one of my tracks? Why are they so good at hitting my tracks right now? All right, you know what? Fine, come at me, bros. I'm gonna bombard you with my superior fire rate. I almost said firepower, but that would be completely inaccurate. Okay, let's get this guy's closer. There we go. I don't even know how to tell, like we're not, I don't think we're ever gonna kill a tank with this firepower. Can I, what if I take out his trick? Can I take out a track? How many shots does it take to take out his tread? Did I do it? No, he's still going. It took them one hit to take out my tank treads. Something tells me it's gonna take me a little bit more time. There's no health indicator. I'm gonna run out of ammo. I forgot that I have limited ammo. Oh, you know why our fire rate just increased? Cause I, we changed ammo. I ran out of a certain ammo type. We changed to a different ammo type. This is really bizarre. Is anybody, uh-oh, uh-oh. 
Uh oh. Turn, 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 turn. Uh oh. Oh no. I've got some bad news, guys. We're 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 under attack again. Whoa, what does he have? What is all what is that plating? I haven't seen that. What is that plating? Oh hello. No, that's my weak spot. That's my weak spot. That's my weak spot. I don't have armor in the back. Oh no, he's he's discovered my weakness. <laughs> look! Look at my bullet marks. <laughs> in contrast, look at theirs. Look at their bullet marks on my turret. Oh, this is embarrassing. Hold on, let, let me see. I want to see it. Ready? I can't even... I just want to see, like... I want to see it happen. There it is. You see that? Yeah, watch where the red X is on the left side of the screen. Look at those tiny... I don't think we're getting any penetration. Guys, I don't think we're ever going to get a kill. The amount of time it's going to take to get through this armor. Can I blow up a fuel tank? I don't think... What was that? Did I do... Wait, that's what my bullets do on the ground? That makes me seem a lot more powerful. But I'm trying to hit... Yeah, that. <gasps> Guys, I'm out of ammo. I think we lost. I mean, we're not dead yet. They are just... Look at these... Look at these ricochets off of my... Off of my turret here. I've never been able to just... There's a kill. We didn't do it. He did it. I need to give myself some more ammo. All right, I'm restarting. Uh, this is getting too ridiculous. Turret ammo. Here we go. We need... Um, I'm just going to give myself all of this ammo. Yeah, we have 300 of each of these now, so that should definitely hold us over. All right, can we can we do anything to increase our damage without decreasing our fire rate? Okay, so I'm gonna stay under 1.6 seconds. We're at 1.53 now, so I'm gonna increase the caliber up a little bit. The caliber increases penetration. The shell length increases penetration. It seems to do it at pretty much the same ratio. If I go to 1.6, 37.2 penetration. If I go to 1.6 on the shell length, 1.6 base reload time. We have, oh, 48 penetration. Okay, so it looks like shell length is a more efficient use of um, our reload time. All right, there we go. 1.59, however, now we do not have enough space, internal space, on our turret, our hull. And then all we gotta do is just a little bit. All right, and there we go, all fixed. Okay, now what's this fire rate feel like? It feels the same, but now we're gonna do m multiples of damage more than what we just did. Hold on, I forget what we're doing. What are we doing for damage? All right, we're doing 47, a massive 47 damage now, as opposed to our puny 17 damage and is a negligible difference in fire rate. So maybe, maybe we can actually take down a single tank now. I'm gonna try to go to one side of the battlefield, so I'm only dealing with a cup. Did they really? Why? All right, hold on. Is there, is there, a, is there a Trax armor setting? Okay, I like this. There we go. I hope that this helps. Putting this on the front to hopefully deflect shots. I don't even know, do, do these things have armor ratings? Like, can we deflect shots with those? All right, I feel like I'm much more protected now, assuming that these things actually provide any protection whatsoever. All right, let's see what happens now. Are we gonna be able to withstand some shots before our tracks go bye-bye? Uh, nope. Very first shot. <laughs> Took out my tracks. Oh, whoops. Oh, and there goes one of my tracks. <laughs> All right, so this stuff provides zero help. Zero help. So let's just start firing with our amazing fire rate. See if we can do any significant damage. Maybe we can take out one of their tracks now, finally. But yeah, I really feel like uh, the best chance to make it feel like I've done any damage is to just bombard someone's tracks with my amazing fire rate and hope that we can see some type of impact. It may take all 300 shots, but we'll get it. We have the defensive capabilities to sustain this. I just want to see these tracks disappear. What if I shoot his exhaust? All right, nothing happens if I shoot the exhaust. All right, I've just been bombarding, been bombarding the same set of tracks. Oh, I took him out. How is that possible? 
How is it possible that I took out the tank before the tracks by almost exclusively shooting at the tracks? Was it because it was the rear of the vehicle suddenly? I figured they would, oh, we just got hit. We just got rammed. Man, these guys are playing a different type of game now. I wonder if that was ever a thing in actual tank warfare. Like just straight up ramming the enemy tank with your own tank. Probably, there's probably tanks designed to do that specifically. But uh, it definitely feels like a bit of a, you know, shooting yourself in the foot situation. It's a, it's a, oh, he's dead. Am I actually doing this? Oh, another one of them died? I think they're killing each other, and that's, yeah, spill it and time to spill, okay. Yeah, I got confused. I just saw the kill cam thing and didn't realize my name wasn't even up there. So I'll aim for the base of his turret. It looks like I'm getting in. It looks like I'm actually getting, I did it. That's me, that was my kill. That wasn't them killing each other. That was officially my kill. Okay, yeah, getting right underneath. Oh yeah, there we go. I see it going underneath the turret. Oh wait, I think that guy's already disabled. Who's shooting at me? Which one of you, which one of you is shooting at me? Ah, 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 you gave yourself away. Ha ha. <laughs> All right, if I can get right, yeah, that's going right underneath his turret. If I can get right in there consistently, I think that's my best chance at killing this guy. Oh, I did it. That was it. That's how we kill them. Ooh, ooh, I want to fire at that thing. Ha! <laughs> I love seeing the fire come up out of them. All right, is it just the big guy now? Wait. Oh, there he is. There he is. Are you the only one left? No, there's more left. All right, let's see if I can get under this guy's turret. This guy has a harder angle. Man, I can't get under this guy's turret like I could with the other guys, I don't think. What if I go, like, underneath the tracks? Is that a good spot? That seems like it's a better spot. I'm seeing the fire of my shot landing, and that to me, like, I don't see it when I hit the side. I feel like here is where it's actually doing damage. Oh! I did it! I took out a track! I mean, he's not disabled yet, but I actually finally saw the effects of taking out, so of shooting at someone's tracks. It took way too many shots to get that result. But we got it, so I am happy. I just really want to disable this guy. I've been firing at this guy for like, I feel like 10 minutes at this point. Oh, he smoked. <gasps> I did it. I did it. You know what just, I think just did it? I fired at this guy and it ricocheted into the back side there. You see, I'm getting a, right there, I'm getting a ricochet. Yeah, you can see it, it bounces off of this and it hits him back there and that actually killed him. So there are apparently 10 tanks on this map and I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So one of these guys, wait, there's another one. What? What is that one doing way back there? Oh, oh, I see him. This guy's alive. This might be the last guy. I might win this. Can I get, can I get under his turret? I th is he, are you out of ammo or something? I just took him out. Who's alive? Yeah, if you look in the bottom right, that red circle, uh, the fact that the red circle is almost full indicates to me that there is one tank left that is not destroyed, and I think it's that one way out there. But it says the number 10, and I swear I'm counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 10 tanks here, and I just killed the last one, so... I don't know what that guy is way out there. But as far as these results, look at the damage on us. We have, we've taken so many shots and somehow survived. I mean, I guess that's what you get for just maxing out the armor pretty much. Well, I gotta be honest, these results uh, far exceeded my expectations. I didn't think we were gonna be able to kill a tank just flat up at all. And uh, there are now 10 disabled tanks here maybe four of which I did directly. So this was the maximum fire rate experiment, and uh, I think I'm happy with the results. I like this tank, this is a fun tank. It's fun to be able to get shots off and get and see the hits happening. So if you guys have anything else you'd like to see me to try in this game, uh, let me know down in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, you'll probably enjoy some other stuff on the channel. You can check that out on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.